Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am back to share with you guys how I created this bag using the We Are Memory Keepers bag punch board. This is considered the large bag because it does use a 12 inch long um, piece of paper. Um, I made my bag, I believe I started out with a six by 12, so that's what I'm gonna use today. Um, I just cut this paper down, um, pretty much cut it in half because it was a 12 by 12. And so I'll show you guys how to make the basic bag as well as how I did the little scallop at the top. You can use any kind, any kind of um, die that you may have, but I have um, this punch. And so oh, it's filled with confetti, <laughs> but um, I have this punch. So I'm just gonna use this punch at the top. I just love scallops and polka dots. So this is like one of my favorite punches here. So um, it's up to you if you wanna start with the punch or if you wanna start with the board. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the punch. It might make it a little easier. Um, so you guys know how to, um, I don't know why my punch is filled with um, shaker stuff, but it's probably because I make shakers like all the time. <laughs> But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up and actually I'm going to flip my paper over. No, I'll keep it that way. And I'll flip the punch over. And so all I'm going to do is just use my punch, line it up with the end of my paper and just punch it out. You don't have to do this um, particular step if you don't want to. Um... It's up to you if you want the top of your bag to be decorative or not. Um, I just think it looks pretty cute when you decorate the top. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to line it up and um, it's a little ways away from me. And when I do my videos, I'm actually standing. So um, a little bit more difficult to stand and craft but it's doable <laughs> so just going along punching the edge and i've done one of these videos before but i know sometimes it's kind of difficult to go back and find previous videos so um that is my little decorative edge like i say you can use a, a die you can use any punch that you may have this is just the dotted scallop punch from um, ek success um so once i finish that now it's time to create our bag now this is the top because we've punched the top out so i'm just going to flip it over the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start at the start line which is right there in the yellow on your board so you're going to start there and the directions are right here on your page so i mean on your board so mine is going to be a large it's 12 inches it just says trim the paper length between four eight four i'm sorry four and 12 inches mine's was six um and then it says align the left edge to the start line and punch so that's what we're going to do so we're going to line it there And we're gonna punch. Now my punch, sometimes it just acts a fool. So, but it punched this time. And then it says, um, score horizontal and the small, medium, or large line. So if, if it was here, I take my uh, bone folder and I'm gonna score the horizontal, which is up here. Okay, and I have a large bag so I need, well, first off, I need to make my little, I think I need to make my triangle part right there. No, I think I just need to score the horizontal and then I think the side line. Okay, score horizontal and small, medium, or large line. Okay, we're going to do it the way they said. So I'm gonna score it on the large line, okay? And I already scored my horizontal. Then I'm gonna move it over and I'm gonna line that score line up that I just made, the large score line. And I'm gonna punch again. And this is gonna be the side of my bag. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna go down. 
and I'm gonna go right here where it says side. So there, this was already a score line here. I score here, here, down, and then the side, and I always score the horizontal, and I punched, okay? Then I'm gonna move over to this line here, and this is gonna be my score on my large line again. I'm gonna score horizontal, and I'm gonna make sure I punch. See, that's how my, my punch doesn't always like to punch correctly. Okay, so now I'm gonna slide it over again to that line that I just made, that um, large line right here is lined up there. I'm gonna go score here, score here, score down because this is gonna be, make my side again. Score down here. I'm gonna make sure I punch and I'm gonna make sure I go my horizontal line. So that's done. The last one that I'm gonna do, which is my tab, I'm gonna line it up right there again. I'm gonna punch. Ooh, it's kind of hard to do. And I'm just gonna do a little score line right there because I'm going to actually cut that off. That's gonna be my little tab line. So I'm pretty much done with my board. These are the little pieces that punches out once you punch. And I'm just gonna take some scissors and that last little line that I did right there, I'm just gonna use that as my little cut line so that I can make my tab. Now, if you wanted to put your, um, if you wanna put holes in here in order to put uh, ribbon, let me turn it this way. If you wanted to put holes, you would punch your holes so that you can have your ribbon coming through. I have twisted paper that looks like the little gift sack tops. So you can put that there. Um, you can cut a sheet of paper and make your own handle. It's up to you. In this case, I'm not gonna make a handle. Um, all I'm gonna do is just score on all of my little score lines. So this is my tab line. It's gonna score inward. This is gonna score. So this, this is scored up. This is scored down. This is scored back up. It's just like the bag on the side. This little V is scored in. This little V is scored in. And then this tab is scored down. Just like how you would see your little gift bags. This one is scored up. That one is scored down. And this one is scored up. Here's your little V again. So it's gonna be scored. Okay. and this is gonna score under. Sorry, I'm twisting it all around, but you guys get the idea. You're gonna score all of those lines, okay? And so now that all of those lines are scored, all you're gonna do is do some sticky tape or either some hot glue, and you're gonna connect the bag here. I'll just use hot glue. Just makes it a little bit more easier. Well, if I had my... <laughs> my hot glue stick in there, I would do hot glue. But in this case, I'll just use a little sticky thumb tape runner. But you wanna use some pretty strong adhesive. You wanna get it as close to this um, score line as possible. And then all you're gonna do is just fold your bag over and just line up the score lines. Just like that. And now your bag is together. Just make sure that you, you know, stick it down really good. And then the bottom part, all you're gonna do is take the flaps and fold them over and glue them in place. So it's up to you which side you want to be your top or bottom or what have you. So I just fold these two small ones in, fold the one with the glue on there. Oh, I put too much glue there, but that's okay. And then you're just gonna fold it down and stick your hand on the inside. And uh -oh. that's why I like using hot glue because it works a little bit better and it's faster. But you're just gonna stick your hand inside of there. And I would put it down, but <laughs> it has this glue stuff right here. And I don't see my little, my little anti-static bag sitting over here right now but um but yeah 
I would just put some anti-static stuff on there to take that glue part away. But anyway, that is how you make your little bag. And then, you know, you can decorate it however you want. Um, it's up to you. But that is how I created this little bag using the We Are Memory Keepers bag punch board. Um, I will come back because I also have the treat box punch board. And I would love to do um, a tutorial. I've never used it before, but I've had it for a while. So I'll do a tutorial um, using that. Here's a cute little paper clip that I made. It would be really cute on top of there. So that is about it, guys. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.